Israeli forces on Thursday demolished the home of a Palestinian accused of killing a soldier in the occupied West Bank, which has been hit by a new outbreak of violence. This week, at least 17 people have been killed in the territory in Israeli military incursions or in attacks by Palestinians or Israeli settlers. So far this year, more than 200 people have died in violence linked to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Soldiers entered Nablus, a Palestinian city in the north of the West Bank, during the night and left at dawn after destroying Kamal Jury's home in an apartment building, witnesses told AFP. The army said it demolished the home of Kamal Jury, the terrorist who carried out a gun attack in October, which caused the death of soldier Ido Baruch. Jury was arrested in February and is in Israeli custody, along with Osama Tawil, who is also accused of taking part in the attack and whose home was destroyed on June 15. The army said that during the operation to demolish Jury's home, rioters opened fire on the soldiers, causing damage to a military vehicle. Israel regularly destroys the homes of Palestinians who carry out deadly attacks against Israelis. It argues it is a deterrent, though critics say it amounts to collective punishment. And that's the news.